up, YouTube? Your girl, Black Asian Queen, and I am back at it again with a motherfucking video. I'm the one that's killing shit, hands down. hands down. If you got a problem with me, say it now. Cause I don't wanna hear no sneak dissing. Huh? Especially not from one you weak bitches. I'm on go like I don't see no stoplights. I'm stepping out every day, prom night. Today, we are doing our very first mother flipping story time. You dig what I'm saying? Before we get started with this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Yes, that subscribe button. That's right. 2019 is my year. I'm claiming it. All right. All I need is you guys' help. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all that, post notification button. So when I upload, you'll be the first one to get to upload the video. All right? So, now, today is very interesting because I never did a story time. So today is that mother flipping day. All right? Today is that mother flipping day because I just feel like ranting and telling y'all my experience at this job. Okay? Anyways. Why I quit my job? I just quit. All right. Yes, you're right. I just quit. I'm about to tell y'all why. All right. So first of all, I've been going to this chicken wing place for a while. Okay. I've been going there. I normally eat there damn near every fucking day. Literally every day. Okay. Every day. Mark these words. Remember these words. Every day. All right. Five days a week, they open. Five. All right? Every day. So that's basically how I got the job because I really, um, you know, I became a good customer and everything like that. And um, so one day I went in there and I was like, yo, y'all hiring because, you know what I'm saying, your girl need to make a few coins, literally a few coins, all right? And so... They called and was like, yo, you know, I ain't even have to do no interview or whatever. Why? Because I was a customer. So I went in on training. You know what I'm saying? Everything was good. Everything was good. So as I think I was only there probably about three months, probably not even because I was still on my probation or towards the end of my probation or probably just finished my probation period. So now... You know, like like they say, you never know a person until you live with them. You never know a person until you work with them. Because when you go as a customer, like these people will be so nice to you. You know, I guess that's their job too. But then when you start working for them or with them, it's a whole different ball game. Do you hear what I'm saying? I mean, everything did like a whole 360. You feel what I'm saying? So some of the issues that I done had, and it, it, it wasn't even with, it was, okay, it was the, the mama, the daughter. It, it was like a family-owned business, okay? It was a family-owned business. Daughter cool as fuck, sweet as hell. You know what I'm saying? She treat people how, how, how they should be treated and how she would like to be treated. But um, the, the owner, a whole nother different story. So... Now, she she was the type that think just because she's the owner, the boss, or whoever, that you're supposed to bow down. Like, bitch, who? Bitch, what? Bitch, me? No, ma'am. Not me. Not going to bow down. So, by me being an employee, okay, I didn't want to just get fired. So, you know, I ain't going to lie. I, I, I. I I'm not going to say bow down, but I kept my mouth shut for a very long time. It's just some of the stuff that she would do would just irk my nerves. Like one day, one, like, okay, first I'm going to go back. First, it was about five of us got, got hired. Five people got hired. Um, it was me, this other girl, this other guy. Um, and matter of fact, that was it at that time. That was it at that time. Three people. So one time that um that we had an issue that the the guy who, who who quit before me, he all of us like all of us who quit had the same issues. Okay, all of us had the same issues because she did not know how to talk to us. She thought that we were slaves. She thought that she could just talk to us any kind of way. And she had this thing where I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Like motherfucker, we know you the goddamn boss. We know what we signed up for. We know you the boss. But you don't have to keep reminding us every time something go wrong or every time 
you need something done that you are the boss. Or every time that we ask you something that you are the boss. Bitch, we know you're the goddamn boss. All right? So, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, all three of us quit. All three of us quit because, matter of fact, it was four. My bad. Four. One girl was disabled. The real reason why this girl quit is because somebody called the job and the boss literally yelled at this girl. I mean, and it was the boss's, like, sister or something. And she yelled at her, don't give me the phone. Everybody know here. Then I tell you not to give me the phone. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's my mama. Like that, first of all, this girl is disabled. She's new. This is probably her like third day working here. Like she does not know your goddamn rules. Like who the hell get yelled at because somebody is calling for you? If, especially if they say that they're your mama or your sister. Like are you, you gotta be kidding me. So whatever. So this girl, I guess, done went back and told the person who got her the job. And the, um, the people was like, okay, so yeah. We gonna find you another job, and that's what she did. She they found her another job. So now the guy who quit, he got it was it, he quit because she yelled at him about some gloves. Like literally, are you gotta be the stupidest motherfucker? The, the, you gotta be the most ignorant, okay, person to yell at somebody about some goddamn gloves. All right. Oh, when I when I left last night, it was three boxes of gloves. What motherfucker right now was goddamn one? All right? And nobody was goddamn here. Unless Casper, a goddamn Superman, a Spider-Man, I came through the goddamn roof last night when this motherfucker was closed. Bitch, you thought you seen three, but goddamn it was one. Okay? Because ain't nobody was up in this thing, like I said, unless somebody done came through goddamn chimney, Santa Claus, and his goddamn elves or some shit, and came and got these other gloves, ain't no gloves. But one box. Because the store just opened. All right, so now uh, she never admit when she got there wrong. You know what I'm saying? She never admit shit, all right? So now uh, he's like, oh, no, my old, my, my old mom don't even talk to me like that. You're not going to talk to me like that, whatever, whatever. They had some words, boom. Me and him had some words, you know what I'm saying, a little discussion before he quit that day. We were both like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna, I ain't gonna come back. I'm tired of her talking to me this type of way. I'm not her child. I'm a grown ass woman. He's like, I'm a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't about to be, we ain't no slaves. We understand she the boss. Bam. Boom. Okay. I ain't seen this ass no damn more after that. Okay. So I guess they had some words after work and that was it. Because it was like another issue that happened when, when he, when it was me and him to schedule to work where... I mean, okay, when you're a boss, you can close down your business whenever you want. I mean, if you got it like that, if, if you feel like you're going to, you know what I'm saying? You got it like that. Now, one day, I, w I didn't know I was on schedule. He was late. So, I guess she came to open up the store. I end up coming just to get me something to goddamn eat. The, and so, she's like, okay, don't you supposed to be, I don't pay you to be outside. I'm like, well, yo, I didn't think... I was supposed to work today. I didn't know I was supposed to work today. And so, like five more minutes passed by. I see her get out the car, shut up the building. She's like, okay, we gonna close. So-and-so gonna call you later. When I got my damn schedule, I had one day on the schedule. One. So I guess she said, since I had to close my shop down and lose money, y'all ass is gonna lose money because y'all gonna get one day on the schedule. Ain't even, and that was our assumptions. She ain't tell us, oh, this is why you got one day on the schedule. Or this is this and that is that. No, she, she's not that type of person. She's not that type. She don't communicate. She going to just, because she's the boss, she's going to do what she want. Boom. I let that slide. I'm like, all right, I'll take my $40 this week. Hell. <laughs> I'll take my $40, okay? So, boom. Now, it was, I ain't seen him no more after that. He gone. Boom. Two of us there. All right. So, now the girl, she always got goddamn funerals to go to. <laughs> she always got funerals to go to every damn week. Literally. She was my own girl, but you know, she was sweet. But she did have a, a, quite a few, you know what I'm saying, things going on. So, I guess they wasn't feeling that. Like, it, like and, 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 and it's sad because when... It only was because they needed her to come in this day. 
So now that they needed her, I don't even know if she was on or off, but she somehow she couldn't come in. She was at a funeral or a, a viewing or something like that. And they were like, okay, basically you either get here or you lose your job. So I guess she's going to get there. So she just never came back. You know, so she's out the picture. So now it's only just me. All right. So now I'm getting, you know, it's been other instances where I had to go outside and give somebody some Tylenol out my car. I come back in a goddamn restaurant to the register. She logged me the fuck. This bitch logged me out of my damn register. Talk about I don't pay you to I don't pay you to um I don't pay you to go outside. Well, I'm like, well, look, I had to give somebody something. Well, why she couldn't go in your car and get it? I'm like, well, uh, first of all, ain't nobody going in my car to get nothing. What if I had goddamn underwear in there, tampons, goddamn condoms, what the hell else, whatever it was. What if I had all that crap in there and send somebody else in my damn car? Okay? Shit, now, that was just stupid. So, and, and it was literally for like two seconds. Run in, ran out, ran in. Bam. So then I goes to clock myself in. She's like, don't be looking at what I put on there. Don't be looking at my screen and my numbers. I'm like, I'm not looking at your screen and your numbers, honey. I am looking at my clock in sheet. Okay? So she done came around from in the back uh, in the kitchen and clocked me and logged me out of my own shit. Because she thought I was in there looking at her numbers. When I just told her that I was not looking at your numbers, that I'm looking at my own clock in sheet. All right? Boom. So that same day, she has something to say about the shirt that I'm wearing. Why are you wearing this shirt when we're supposed to be wearing that shirt? First of all, that shirt was dirty. I spilled something on it, so I ain't have no other shirt. Do you rather me call out? Because I have a dirty shirt or just put another shirt on. Well, it's simple. Simple. That's it. Okay? Which one do you, which one would you rather? All right? So, it was an issue about that. Like, and just, like she just don't know how to talk to people at all. Don't know how to talk to them at all. Everybody that worked there, and even when I was a customer, I lied to you not. I seen several different people working at the front. Working at the front counter register. It's only one red. It's only uh two per um two uh cashiers at a time. You know what I'm saying? So now um now that that shit happened, I was like, you know what? I'm not coming back. I'm not about to get talked to this type of way. I'm not about to get treated this type of way. I'm not about to get talked down on. I'm not about to take none of that because, first of all, I am no one's child. I've been raised one goddamn time. And if you feel like you got to keep saying you're the boss, then something is wrong with you. Okay? So, like I said, she literally had so, had so many employees that it does not make any sense. So, Every time someone quits, like, it leads for her family, the, the owners of the, the company, to work more hours and, and work. Because they, they can never keep no goddamn body. And everyone says the same thing. That is how she talks to people. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds to 